Hello and welcome. Multidimensionality is on. Really, multidimensionality is part of new states of being. And new states of being are those new frequencies and this new light that we are able to embody at this moment. And we find it really in many different places. Many of the new states of being have a ness at the end of their word, like consciousness, like presentness, intipidness, and many, many other words. But multidimensionality is a little bit of an exception. So multidimensionality is really our new way of, of looking at the world. It's accepting that all dimensions exist. However, some of the lower dimensions in the astral fields, but in general also here on Earth, are really collapsing. And this is part of what is happening when you come to the end of one time and into a new. So Dr. David Hawkins had his staircase to enlightenment and he relates the dimensions to our state of enlightenment. Now, enlightenment is also in a way the I am presence. It's also the Advaita. It's the observer. So it's used in many different traditions. And David starts with the lower dimension of the third dimension, which is obviously the suffering, the drama. Then it goes into the duality. Then it goes into self-empowerment, which is the fourth dimension. And then finally we come into the fifth and higher, which is the self-realization. So in self-realization, we actually start recognizing our multidimensionality. We are not just that physical body here. We are not just our emotions and our thoughts, but we are actually a higher self, an I am presence, whatever we want to call it, a source fractal, whatever resonates with you. And the multidimensionality starts when we recognize all the different dimensions that are existing. And more than that, we are able to make our choice where we put our energy. So as I was mentioning a while ago, yes, those dimensions that are now collapsing, it's also us who are giving energy into that. And that's a very beautiful and vital activity, if you wish, that we're having right now, as it is actually supporting everything that we are doing. So in consciousness architecture, which is a whole new ball game and my own magic, if you wish, that has come from from the cosmos, from source, if you want to call it that way again. These are just words. And in consciousness architecture, we are really considering the multidimensionality as a presentness to all there is. The different layers of our own dimensions. And yes, all of the big teachings of the past are supporting us in this as well as we are practicing detachment. So we are no longer attached. Doesn't mean we don't have dreams in our hearts. It doesn't mean we don't dream things into being. But it means we are not attached to outcomes, conclusions, and the way we think we want something. We can actually observe all levels and all dimensions of consciousness. So multidimensionality for consciousness architecture is the self-realization as in Advaita, the ability to look at the different dimensions, the different layers of reality in a detached way and to make a choice. So yes, some old shadow could come up as it does now that we're going through this November of, of letting go, of looking at limitations that hold us in the past or in the here and now or in the future. And yet 
we are learning not to be attached. So we're not going back into the drama and the suffering and the duality and the judgment, judgment and the fear, flight, fight, fortify, fawn and freeze. So multidimensionality is one of the core concepts as you wish but it's not really a concept it is states of being and it's not singular and it's not dynamic so i'm inviting you in to that state it's always different it's always unexpected and it has that room of magic and wonder that ability to to trust the heart and multidimensionality is also really from the heart. The key to multidimensionality is through the heart. So I hope that helps. If you have more questions, I'm happy to share with you. For now, I'm going to share a little flute with you, flute magic, to give you a sense of multidimensionality, that presentness, that choice that it can give you. I hope it gives you a taste and um, always here to take you deeper, to immerse and to emerge. Have a blessed day, whatever time it is in your life, in your world, and we'll see you soon. From my heart to yours.